The AI super agent, Deep Agent, has just launched a new MCP update it just dropped and we'll be testing out today. I want to show you the secret Zapier MCP method that connects 5,000 tools to your AI agent in just one simple click. You also learn how to connect your AI agents to Gmail, Google Maps, GitHub, even WordPress with a few tiny clicks, plus how to build reports, websites, and apps with autonomous AI power. Now, Deep Agent is a very powerful AI super agent, but you can now use MCPs and this changes everything. So if we go over to Deep Agent right here, I'm also going to reveal what Deep Agent still struggles with, how it stacks up versus Claude. And this is the most powerful update that's come to Deep Agent yet. So you'll learn how to build an AI that finds emails, maps, coffee shop tours, audits, GitHub PRs, and does almost everything like an AI savage update from deep agent which is the mcp update to deep agent all right so basically what you can do is you can connect to your mcps an example deep agent right and basically this is the super agent inside here let's cover the new update from deep agent and connecting mcps so what you can see here for example is we said inside the chat here, send an email with MCP to me at juliangoldie.com as a test. We connected the Gmail and then directly inside here, you can actually connect your MCPs and use the Gmail tool, which you can see right here using the JSON to output that, right? And it was really easy and simple. I actually just set this up in a couple of minutes. The way that you can configure these really to be super powerful is using the Zapier MCP method, which I'll come on to in a minute. And basically this will allow you to connect 5,000 different tools to your deep agent. And then your deep agent can connect its power with Zapier and you can create absolutely awesome stuff. So this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people are excited about deep agent already because it is a very powerful AI super agent. It's not my personal favorite from my test so far, but we will be testing that later today to see which one is the best now that we've got MCPs on our side. And it's going to be very interesting. So if you want to configure your MCPs, let me show you how to do it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go inside abacus.ai and then from abacus AI, you will select deep agent in the bottom left. So let me show you what I mean. So for example, if we go to deep agent.abacus AI over here, once you've done that, then you're going to select deep agent in the bottom left. So you click tools, click deep agent. This will take you to the deep agent. And basically, this is it's very similar to Manus, all these other tools. If you haven't come across this before, essentially what you can do is you can, for example, create reports, presentations, you can create apps directly inside here. But I would say by far the most powerful configuration here is using the MCP. You can see here we've integrated our MCP server from Zapier, so mcp.zapier.com. Then I've put in the details of my SSE and we've configured that and put it right in, right? Now, the way that you would detail this JSON and the way that you put this in is you essentially, you put like a, a squiggly bracket, then you're gonna put whatever MCP you wanna set up. So I wanted to set up the Zapier underscore MCP. From there, we've set up the URL and yeah, that's basically like a copy and paste. Now, for setting up the MCP server, I would recommend using Zapier. And the reason that I recommend using Zapier is because it gives you the most freedom. And what I mean by that is so you've got MCP, so Airbnb servers and stuff like that. And it's like, how often are you going to use that? You're going to use that every single day? Probably not, right? And so if you're using something like Zapier, we use Zapier integrations like all the time. Just to give you an example of what you can set up here. So we've connected this to WordPress, to ChatGPT, to Gmail. We have, for example, connected to Facebook pages, Google Calendar, etc., And that just gives us much more freedom inside one single MCP. And so you've got the back end of 5,000 different apps. So you can add whatever tool or app you want inside here. And then you can connect that to Deep Agent. And with Deep Agent, you get the freedom to basically have a front end chat that's configured to all these tools. Really simple and easy. And also with Deep Agent, it's got all those other integrations inside it, right? So for example, creating presentations, creating apps, coding, building out websites, building out games or tools or whatever you want, right? And also the Deep Agent can directly go off onto the web. It's very autonomous, right? So you've got the back end power of Zapier combined with the front end power of Abacus and Deep Agent. Now, 
when you're doing this, and bear in mind, like I wasn't impressed with Deep Agent the first time I used it. If you saw my other video about this, but I would say this is a lot better now, and it has improved dramatically with this feature, right? Now you can include whatever you want. You don't have to use a Zapier MCP. You could, for example, use GitHub. You can see how to connect GitHub right here. You would just add your personal access token. You could add, for example, Google Tasks, insert remote server MCP right there. But the main thing to note here is that uh, you're configuring your MCPs to make your AI agent much more powerful, all right? So let me show you how to set up the MCP server for Zapier so that you can start using this, all right? So essentially you just go to new MCP server, then you're gonna select a client. So for example, it could be Claude, Cursor, Windsor, or other. So we could select other, for example, select the server details, create MCP server, right? And this is available at mcp.zapier.com. And then from here, you can start adding tools. So for example, let's say we want to connect this to Gmail. We'll click on Gmail, we click on find email, and we'll plug that in right there, right? Nice and easy. Now, inside the configure section, if you go to the three dots, we can allow the AI to just figure and configure everything out. And what that means is like, I could manually enter some details here for a specific value. I hate doing that on Zapier. I usually mess it up and I'm not that pedantic and technical in terms of setting this stuff up. But if I can get the AI to figure it out for me, that's going to save my life. That's going to save me a lot of time, right? So for example, we add the Gmail tool right here. And then now we're going to configure that, right? Now, when you're configuring this, you'll get a server URL like an award server server URL, right? Like you can see. And so this is basically like a password. So you have to be careful with it because if, if you're sharing it on a live stream like I am, Obviously, I'm going to have to delete both of these MCP servers afterwards, but I just wanted to show you how powerful this is. For example, we copy this URL, and then we're going to go back to the admin. We'll change the MCP URL, like plug that in. All right, so we've got the Zapier MCP URL over here. We're good to go on that. Then we're going to plug that in. We'll hit update. That's going to update the record. You can see we've got configuration updated successfully. And then if we go back now inside Deep Agent, we can start using this to connect it to the MCPs. All right. So if we go inside here and we're like, okay, use the MCP server to find me emails sent from Julian Goldie. I'm gonna wait for that to load. Now you might be wondering, okay, how much does this cost per month for Deep Agent? Let's have a look at the pricing over here. So if we go inside settings, from here we'll go to billing. I'll show you how much it costs. So we spent ten dollars this month so far. So I think it's about twenty dollars a month for this, something like that. You can see the credits and the credit usage over here. This is how much it costs. But yeah, it's about $20 a month, which is pretty affordable for most, let's be honest. Now you can see it's using the Zapier MCP tool to find emails, right? So it says searching emails from Julian Goldie using Zapier MCP. It's implementing that right now. And it's using its magic. Now you might be also wondering, okay, what are MCPs, etc., right? So let me talk you through the basics whilst we're waiting for that to load. So essentially MCPs, allow you to integrate different tools, external tools and data sources with your AI agent. So if you're using, for example, the MCP from Deep Agent and you're using that to connect to Zapier, then it's much easier to implement tools from other places, right? You don't need to give it any login details or anything like that. You just say, use this URL over here. So it makes everything easier. Now, this stands for Model Context Protocol. And basically what it's doing, it's just like a standard way of communicating between AI agents and the tools that you want to connect. So if you want to connect your Gmail to, for example, Deep Agent, then you would use the MCP to seamlessly do that, right? And you only need three things to set this up. Number one is a Deep Agent. Number two is the API keys. And number three is the MCP server. Now, you don't actually need to create your own MCP. So you can use, for example, Zapier or something like that. But there's actually a bunch of MCPs that are available publicly. So for example, you can see a bunch of reference servers here that we could use. Like, for example, you could use Slack or 
I was talking about it before, but Airbnb, GitHub, et cetera, right? You can connect all of these with MCP servers. And it's quite easy to set these up. Like you can see, I've shown you exactly how to do that today. So here's an example configuration. You can get this in the help section of Abacus AI's website, but essentially that's how to set it up step-by-step. Step. And then you can use these MCP tools inside Deep Agent. So you would just instruct the agent to use the MCP tool. That's the main thing. So for example, let's put some example tasks, access website, blah, blah, blah. It will display the call like I've shown you before. And then you view the tool output in the chat. So here's some examples, right? This is a really good thread by Bindu Ready, who's showing like how to use Deep Agent with MCPs, like you can see. So here's an example. Basically, can you analyze the PR and MCP backend integration, what core changes were made, etc. And it's using the MCP repository to search GitHub, pull the comments, etc. And then it analyzes the PR for that in the back end, right? Pretty cool. Here's another example. So this is using Google Maps to plan out. So you can see basically what we're doing here is you can use the Google Maps MCP. These are the settings, etc. You just have to grab a Google Maps API key. You plug that in and then you can say something like find me the top rated coffee shops within a one mile radius of this area, then create an efficient walking tour to visit three of them. From there, it starts using its magic, uses the MCP to gather the data. So you can see here, for example, it's using the Google Maps MCP. And then you get the results right here, including the reviews, number of reviews, address, Google Maps link, and the website, plus all the details right here. So it's pretty cool. Like you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. But the main thing here is like, you've got more freedom with Deep Agent and the autonomous AI agent side of that versus you could put this directly inside Claude, but if you want to use the Claude MCP, so if you want to connect Claude with, for example, Zapier tools and that sort of thing, then you have to pay for the Mac package that costs a fair amount. I think I pay like $200 a month, something like that for the Max package on MCPs. But you can see here, for example, we have PayPal integrated. We also have Zapier integrated, right? So you can do it directly inside Claude, but it's going to cost you a lot more money and also it's going to be a lot more technical to set up so let's just double check this works if you go into a new chat here we'll say right okay use the mcp find email from zapier find me the most recent email to me at juliangolder.com just the latest one the only thing i don't like about this is the speed like look how slow that is that is very slow. I don't know whether it's because it's a beta version or something like that. That is one thing that I've found. For example, when we're using GenSpark and that sort of thing, it, it seems to be a lot faster. So it says, before I proceed, please could you clarify? I'm going to say, right, use the MCP server. I have configured email subject line, just content, fired. And then it's retrieving the latest email from the MCP server. So it is definitely taking time. That's the only downfall I would say of this is it just takes a long time to get the results. And to be honest, when you're using Claude, like it seems a lot faster with MCPs. So for example, if I go inside Claude here and I'm like, okay, find, we'll do exactly the same prompt here. See if that works. For example, if we go inside Claude, we're like, find the latest payment on my PayPal account. And Claude is breaking on me too. Look at that internal server error. Okay, great. <laughs> They've both crashed on me, but usually you've probably seen my other videos on MCPs inside Claude. Claude is usually better. I'm just going to go inside the settings here and figure out why that is. But yeah, you get the point. That's how to set up MCPs inside Deep Agent. Tested it is a little bit slow, but it does give you a lot more freedom. I do like the idea of it. I just think it needs more time to get good results, but you can see the power of it. For example, like checking Google Maps, checking GitHub, etc., stuff like that. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all my best prompts, etc., link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom. It's my community on making money and saving time with AI. Also comes with like weekly Q and A's. And additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more free leads, customers, and sales by ranking inside AI search engines such as ChatGPT, Google, ranking inside, for example, Gemini. If you want to learn how to do that, or if you want us to implement it for you, for your business, 
feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session and link in the comments and the description to do that. This is based on what's working for us and our happy clients. You can jump on that call, book it in, ask any questions you have. It's completely free. No strings attached. Although a lot of people do become clients afterwards, you don't have to, right? There's no obligation right here. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one, peeps. Cheers. Bye-bye.